Riley, I'm going to pick up your new sister. Me, we gotta get Guys, we just made it to Germany. It's 8 a.m. We're going, I can't tell you where, but you're about to find out. <laughs> Look at me pulling away from Porsche, my new Porsche, bro. This is lit. Frick Good morning, Germany. This is where Guaxilla's suspension came from. Fancy. Like his personal garage. That's pretty. Pretty. Thing, but you know what I've heard other people say? They like Sport Plus. What's this place called? Anyone know? Cologne, Germany, ending off the night. Finally got the vlog uploaded. We are driving to Amsterdam right now. And for the past three days, we've been talking about Amsterdam. But nobody thought to get a hotel. So we're, we're driving there, it's three in the morning. I hope this plays out, but I had to document this. Man, we're in Germany. <laughs> In the GT3 RS, just on the Autobahn, in the rain. at 3 a.m. Look, the Red Bull's right there. I've had five today. This is insane. I've been up for 23 hours so far. Counted the same. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll keep you updated. But. <laughs> all right. Now that you're all up to date. Um. Kind of a confusing story, so do you guys want to kind of help me with this? Yeah. We didn't vlog today, um, and I wasn't going to upload this video, I wasn't even going to make a video, it's literally like, I'm going to explain in a second, but we're going to do a quick update video why I'm not making a normal vlog today, but guys, it's Vlogmas, um, so that's kind of the point, I'm, I'm here to explain my day, right? Like, vlogmas. vlogmas, we do everyday videos, yeah, exactly. I didn't want to mess it up, okay? Um, so, quick explanation, basically what happened? How do we put into words what we did wrong to not allow us to make a video? Well, first and foremost, we were asleep all day, okay? Not like me in the slightest, and we're gonna do a little bit of a background story and explain what happened there because I think it's kind of a good story. We went to KW Suspension, we visited the factory, and then we ended up leaving Fichtenberg. Fichtenberg, yeah. We were in Fichtenberg, and it was about an eight hour drive all the way to Amsterdam, and for some reason, we all, look, this man's sleeping, he doesn't even sleep, he's sleeping. Um, we all decided, hey, Let's send it all the way to Amsterdam tonight. That way we get two days in Amsterdam, which is where we are right now. You guys will see more tomorrow, trust me. But we just sent it. We didn't even have, really have a plan. Um, and as you saw in the last clip, we didn't even know where we were gonna stay. So that comes in a huge problem later on in the story. So um, on our way, Brady, what, what were we trying to do? Go ahead and explain to the people, what were we trying to do on the way to here to Amsterdam? That was causing us very many oh, issues. Oh, go ahead. Tell oh, me. are you talking about the? Come in here. Come in here. You gotta explain. Shoot. Uh, what? We were trying to get a video to you, lovely people. Sorry, um, Coda. It's also 12:30 in the morning when I'm filming this, so that's a fun fact. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Back to the story. So we're three hours already deep into this car drive, Brady. Over and over and over again. No places had Wi-Fi. We went to three different McDonald's. Welcome each to Europe. A like hundred miles <laughs> apart. It was not the move. We drove from Leipzig to Fichtenberg to now Cologne. To then Amsterdam. I hope I, I hope I explained those correctly. That's like 1,200 kilometers in one day. Keep in mind, we also stayed up for 24 hours. Upload the vlog in Cologne. It's 1 a.m. We go take photos. Anyways, we finally leave. We show up to Amsterdam. We're like, yes, we made it. It's 6 a.m. We can sleep for about four hours, wake up, have a normal day, right? <laughs> Great idea, right? It's flawless, right, Koda? <laughs> Couldn't find a hotel for about an hour. Then we finally found one and the hotel told me that we would be good to have a room in one hour. So we only had to wait an hour, right? Not, not a big deal. We end up waiting for four and a half hours and don't get a hotel room until 11 a.m. Okay, I haven't slept. We've been staying up. We're waiting. We're in, like literally waiting in the hotel, right? There's nowhere to sleep. Here we are. Um, we're in Amsterdam. It's really late. Like I said, it's 12.30 and I was not going to film a video because we slept all day. Um, and then I was like, no, this is a great story. And also, um, today, as a bonus to the Germany vlog. Guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about all my tattoos. So today, we're gonna do a quick, ah, we're gonna do a quick explanation on them. But I'll repeat what you just said to me, right? <laughs> so, 
Things did happen after we got to that. Hotel. Brady wants to over explain, guys. We, 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 after sleeping all day, we then had to edit the Porsche video uh -huh. to upload that. Or the no, the factory video. The factory video. Okay. So it was, it was a lot going on. We didn't have time to film, but we're here. That's all that mattered. All right, we're making the utmost do with what we've got today, guys. I have to go back to sleep now to wake up to have a normal day tomorrow. So we're going to film this in the hallway of our hotel here in Amsterdam because. Lighting's not great in the room. So we're gonna start off, guys. I have a total, I have to be quiet, it's one in the morning. I have a total of, I think, 25 tattoos. Um, we're gonna run through them really quick. I'm gonna tell you guys the explanation of them. Thankfully, we have this wonderful lighting here in our magnificent hotel room. Oh, yeah. um, so let's start, let's go through this really quick um, because a lot of people have been asking me for this and I just didn't feel it fit into a certain place. This is gonna be the best. <laughs> Good night. Um, anyways, mom, I miss you. I can't wait to come home and visit you. It's been so long. And I... anyways, <laughs> uh, so back to what I was talking about. Okay, first tattoo. We're gonna start here. Um, this is the arrow tattoo I have. This is from my car crash. This is the right arrow that we actually took out when we went off the cliff. Moving on. This is a black widow spider that I got on my 18th birthday. The reason I got it is because like the only thing I'm, I would say afraid of, which I'm not really anymore. Well, I don't like spiders. I don't like spiders. I don't think anyone does. But I got this on my birthday. It has 22 in it in red. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, funny story behind this tattoo. The real reason I got it was because on my 18th birthday, I wanted to just get a big tattoo on my arm and just like remember me being a stupid teenager. That was literally the thought in my... I don't know why, okay? Um, moving on. This is a little rainy umbrella. I got this just because I think everyone has rainy days and everyone's the same. We're all people. Um, this is a paper airplane from a tour I went on. Um, it was a tour I did for T Fox brand. Uh, and we were throwing paper airplanes off of our hotel. So me and Jake both got matching tattoos for that. And Coda actually has it and his brother Hunter. Um, this is an F1 car. Um, I love driving and then I got this F1 car when I was in Monaco for F1 So that's kind of like my memory of traveling to Monaco. I'm big into getting tattoos when I travel places um, So next tattoo, this is just an octopus, but it's like a old It's like an old scuba diver helmet um, The reason I got this was because when I was little we used to go to this restaurant I'll show you guys like that when I was little we used to go to this restaurant and they had one of these really big things and we called it um Aki -ok, I think it was, it was this weird thing when I was little, but that's the reason I have this one. I just says the childhood memory. 1968, that was the year my mom was born. And then we have 1998, that was the year my sister was born. And because I'm so smart, Rhonda on my right arm, Lindsay on my left. I didn't do that on purpose. It's just like that. Um, okay, now we're gonna move on. We got all the arm ones. Oh, this one. I got this for Jessica. You guys might know Jessica. Um, we were in Miami and I literally said, um, I get a tattoo for her. I said, you pick what it is, I'll get it. She said she wanted lightning, clouds, and a UFO. This tattoo is for Kirby. If you guys remember my old dog Kirby, she used to love palm fronds. So I got the palm tree for Kirby, way for my mom, because my mom loves surfing. Uh, now, I like how George is just chilling here, I checking out the meanings of the tattoos. Uh, we're telling uh, people about the meanings of my tattoos. Nice. Yeah, this rocket ship actually doesn't mean anything. I just got that. So that's actually real. I just got that. I think the rocket ship looks cool. Um, moving on. Okay, we're gonna go down to the legs and then we'll, we'll move on. Uh, this is a wolf that I got. Um, this kind of represents the wolf of Wall Street to me. That's like something I'm passionate about. Just business, big business. So that's like, I look down at my leg, it's there, it's aggressive, it's bold, it's, it's on my leg forever. And I like it. Um, Grim Reaper, that doesn't mean anything significant. I just thought that looked cool right there. Um, Pure honesty. This one is from my, this one's for my grandma. Um, when she passed away, I got that for her. That one's for my grandpa. Um, this is a ghost. Also does not mean anything. I liked it, so I got it. <laughs> uh, now, moving on, I got this broken heart on, wait, that's sorry, that says try. <laughs> I, like, I don't even know where my own tattoos are. This says try because everything's worth the try. And then moving on, other side, we got a little broken heart featuring a little bit of armpit hair. Um, broken heart. There's no like indirect meaning behind it, but kind of just like, it's okay to be sad, like everyone gets sad. It's kind of the same thing as rainy days. It's not the same meaning, plus I thought it looked cool, being honest. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I like it. Now, this is my uh, Lucky Clover tattoo. Uh, this is for scootering. This is my scooter tattoo. My first and only sponsor in scootering has been Lucky Scooters. That's who makes my signature complete, so gotta have Give that as memory. They want. And then, uh, exactly. And then this is a random guy's initials. If you saw <laughs> Doing Your Dares 5, um, this is a random guy's initials. That was one of the dares and I had to get it tattooed on me. Uh, 
Last but not least is an elk. It's got some geometric in there. I just thought this thing looked cool. I've never had like an actual tattoo piece. As you guys can tell, probably I'm very tired. It's like one in the morning and it's like four <laughs> hours today. So feeling great. These, this is like the biggest one I have. Like mm. there's nothing crazy, but this is line work. Um, and yeah, um, now I'm sure there's gonna be some people out there that are like 10 or you're 18, why do you have over 20 tattoos? Tattoos are like a huge memory thing to me. Whenever I travel places or there's like a significant meaning behind getting a tattoo, um, it's less of like the meaning of the tattoo and more of like the memory that it triggers in my head. That's kind of like my idea behind tattoos. But yeah, super stoked on all of them. Um, I don't know where we'll be at in the future, but we could do another update then. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up today's video because I gotta go back to bed. I'll see you in tomorrow's Amsterdam vlog. Guys, thanks for watching, and make sure to leave a big thumbs up and get some T Fox merch and roll the outro. Cause the she know I bled too You was like a puppy, put that Peter shit all big